plumberparts.co.uk. Honest reviews and advice. Oh yeah, hold tight and holler. Welcome to today's plumberparts.co.uk video. Now today we are going back in time. This is something I'm sure we've done, but I've been asked to do this video a few times over the last couple of weeks by some people who want to know how. Basically, we're going to have a look at how to change a toilet seat. This is like the simplest one you can do. You can get to the nuts on the underside. There's no cutting you need to do or anything. So this is like a very common method, okay? So you should easily be able to do it. The reason these people want this toilet seat changed is, from the male perspective, quite obvious. Imagine you're coming in here at night, say, I don't know, three in the morning on a Sunday morning. So you've been out for a few beers or whatever. And you really need to go. You lift the actual seat up to do wee-wees. Again, you lift the seat up to do wee-wees. Again, you have to lift the seat up to do wee-wees. And in the end, you give up and sit down and do a wee-wee like a lady. So that's the reason we're changing this now. It's gonna take us about five minutes. Enjoy. So, right, we've got a new one here, new little toilet there. Let's prepare this now. Usually, when you buy a toilet seat, a new one, if it was me, always try and go for one with metal gubbins, okay, metal attachments. The plastic threads and nuts always shear off and they're just never tight enough. You can't ever tighten them up enough and you find out that the loo moves a lot. Basically, pull off the wrapping from the outer part of the loo. If you're a bloke, completely ignore the instructions. Often you have the instructions on the bag, but they're pretty self-explanatory, okay? So, we've got that out there. Let's pop this to one side and delve down to the deep underbelly of the toilet. Da, 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 da. Right, so, as you can see, we've got this bracket here, two brackets here, and we have a nice, easy-to-get-at nut here. So, basically, what we do, undo this nut. Huh. Well, I was pretty lucky there. I've managed to remove the whole bolt. So how lucky am I? But usually you take this nut off here, the plastic nut would come off this bit here. Let's see if that happens on this side. We have to do both sides. So we've got our, we've got our nut here on this. No, that's done the same. <laughs> Typical. Right, so usually what I do is, most toilet seat holes are the same width. They're kind of a, a normal width. For everything. So you get out the bits that you need. We've got our two little plastic parts there. We've got a little nut to do a bit up there. We've got our actual hinges here. We've got our two proper nuts here, right? And these will actually fit nicely into there so that can do them up. What you want to do is you need some sort of way of if whoever's using the loo keeps missing it for water to not go down into onto the floor. And when I say water, I mean yellow water. So we put a little plastic bit on here usually and that will sit up against the porcelain of the loo and stop any of that lovely yellow water from giving you a lovely yellow floor. I always want my loo to sit forward as much as possible so we don't get that rocking forward bit. So as you can see there's an angle on this so you want to set that up accordingly. You want it so that's angled forward like that on the loo so you want that to go in there like so. So when the loo's back it's really back you know so it doesn't fall forward. So what I'd usually do is now make this up. We've got none here. Yeah again we've got our little yellow wee stopper. Make sure it's nice and tight up to the top. Basically we'll pop that in there. Push that all the way through. Right move this. You should pretty much just be able to pop this on like so. For a start, already, they're not falling forward. We're happy with that there. I am, anyway. I'm incredibly happy with that being there. Makes my day. So now, we go back under here with our gubbins, okay? What we want to do is we want this piece here to go on there like that, on the underside, just plop up there. And then we want our nut to go on. So this is kind of fiddly to do, even if you're not filming a video. So we're going to pop that on there, like that. And then we're going to get this nut on, just like this. To do this up, we're going to lightly nip this bit up and just see if we're sort of in the right position before we really tighten that up a lot. So that's up there a little bit. Then you do the same on the other side. Now it's just a simple matter, right? You know it's sitting up okay like this, but you haven't tightened these up fully yet. Make sure that it kind of correlates with the front of the loo like that, yeah? So we know that's pretty nice like that. So basically we're going to tighten these up now. Now we've got it in place. Tighten that real hard with that little thing. Sometimes, if you haven't got one of these, you're gonna need a proper spanner. Right, so there we go, that's done. That's it, that ain't going nowhere. That lifts up all right, that lifts up all right. That flushes all right, obviously. I'll tell you what, because this is such a depressing and utterly mundane video, let's finish it in a nice place. Yeah, changing these to some fine ass flip flops. 
basically people you know the drill you've just learned how to change a toilet seat the first time you've ever seen one of our videos we've done loads on plumbing and stuff DIY bits and bobs around the house we help out all the while if you need any more help any more information visit our website plumberparts.co.uk above all subscribe to our videos because then you're going to see loads of them and really importantly follow us on Twitter and on Facebook we post loads of photos on Twitter we do lots of stuff on Facebook and while you're here, why don't you look below this video if you're on YouTube and click on the share button and share this video to some of your friends. Let's face it, we could have done a really boring video on how to change a toilet seat, but actually you ended up watching your plumber lay in the sun on a Friday afternoon when really you should be at work. How about that? Ah, anyway, hold on, where's my cat? Okay, here he is. This is my absolute lead unit, Big G otherwise known as George. He's in all of our videos, so, well he's in quite a few of them. He's a friendly cat, he's a plumber's cat. So, you're a legend, you? Mm -hmm. He doesn't like the sun, he doesn't like the heat. For a cat, he just gets way too hot. Anyway, right, I'm gonna leave you now. I've got flip-flops on, which means if any phone calls come in for work now, or anything like that happens, basically, you're gonna have to wait till Monday, because once the flip-flops go on, in plumbing world, that's it, you know. If you've got any questions, go to our website, and all that sort of stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna love you and leave you. I'm not gonna take my top off. I don't want all of you to be sick. Uh, so I'll see you in the next video. Hold tight. Plumberparts.co.uk. Honest reviews and advice.